morning everybody it's Kate I'm going in for a look that I found on Pinterest um, it's a bronzy green look so I'm just gonna show well I don't even know if I can show you the picture because I'll just show you the final picture um, those are the two final pictures so it's a green like bronzy it looks more um, like she starts out with this brown so I'm gonna try and do that and we'll see how it works out. I haven't done this look before so I'm trying it out now. So I'm going to review the products that I'm using um, and then I'm just going to go into it because I can't talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> I'm just priming my eyes. So I'm just going to show you the products that I'm going to use. Um, not in any special order. So I've got this L'Oreal Infallible in Golden Sage. It's number 333. I'm going to use this um, Hard Candy Duo in Peace. I'm going to use another Infallible in Continuous Cocoa. It's just like a like a brown, almost black. Put that down. I'm going to use Bat to the Bronze by Maybelline as um, a base. They use some sort of like shadow stick or you know what have you. I'm going to use this brown smoldering eyeliner in brown. It's fried by L'Oreal. I'm going to use a black liner by Maybelline, the Master Precise. Sorry. <clears throat> I had all intentions of getting up, sorry, and having coffee first and whatever. <laughs> I dropped it twice. I'm not editing this today because I just don't have the time. It just takes too long. I can't deal with it. So anyway, so I've got stuff on my face and all of that. So let's just get started. So I'm going in with the bat to the bronze. And I've decided that I'm just going to do what works for me. Like I can't figure out what's going to work for other people. If you have a question and I can try and help you out or, you know, whatever. I know what looks good on my hair, my hair, my skin color. So that's what I need to talk about. Like, you know, I mean, I'm still going to try and do other things. It's just, this is what works for me. You kind of have to figure out what works for you and then, and then go with it. So I have that all over my lid. The next thing they do is they go in with their pencil and kind of like smoke it out. Um, like I said, I've never done this look before. I guess it's kind of similar. I think I've watched enough YouTube videos to figure out how to like blend and smoke stuff out. I am not by any means a professional makeup artist. I wish, but I chose a different career path in life and this was not it. I remember being in college and I was going to school with this girl. We were friends and uh, I never understood. Like she was going to school to be a dietitian and then she went to beauty school and, and I remember like asking her about it and I remember saying to her, like, Susan, why are you, you know, if you're going to school to be a dietitian, like, why are you also going to school to do, like, hair and makeup? And she said, I want something to fall back on. I want choices. And at the time, like, I'm just taking a Q-tip and trying to smoke it out. Um, at the time, you know, like, I was putting myself through school, student loans. Like, my parents helped a little bit with, like, other things, you know, like, they paid for books and stuff like that. But a majority of the stuff went on me. So like I had a full time job, but of course so didn't Susan. Um, I don't know why. Bottom line is have options, especially in the economy that there is today. So I kind of smoked that out. I'm sure it's going to look great <laughs> when it's all done, but whatever. So I'm going to go in with this, um, piece duo and it, I'm just going to go in with the lighter shades. So and I'm just gonna like kind of sweep it, pat it, whatever you do. Um, this is what works for me. May not work for you, you know. And I'm not trying to be negative. It's just that I don't want to be like everybody else. I'm just showing you what's what's out there, what you can do. Um, the reason I started YouTube videos was because I like them. I love YouTube. I think it's a great thing. I just want to be able to show people who have red hair there are options, you know? So anyway, I'm going to take the sage color and I'm going to pat that all over my, my lid right on top. 
of the other color and right over the brown liner. Wow, this like, it looks nice. Um, so today is pie day at work. We, they did a secret colleagues. I didn't join in. I wish I had. Um, it was, it was so fun. I mean, I lived vicariously with other people, but, um, I'm definitely going to do it the next time around. It was, they, you know, everyone, I guess, put it into a hat or whatever. And, uh, Abby's up, but I'm going to keep going. <laughs> so everyone put into something. I don't know what it was and because I didn't participate but everybody got somebody different and the whole office pretty much gets involved in this thing which I don't think they expected but I think it's a great morale booster um, the morale in my office is pretty bad um, I know it sucks but what are you gonna do you gotta kind of live with it and as much as I try and stay out of the negativity it still gets to you I guess you got you know it's just how it goes. I don't know if it's... Um, I don't know. Whatever. I'd say what I say, but I don't want to offend people. But. So anyway. Um, I'm just going to take a round... Oh, blah. My Sigma... It's a... Sorry. My crown brush. Tap that in. It's the S, um, S12. I'm just going to put that like right here. I'm not going to try and go into my crease because I don't want that look today. So I'm just going to smoke out the end corner, kind of like doing a V, but not really a V. So anyway, so they're doing this secret colleague and today is pie day. So because I didn't join in, I still offered to bake because I like to bake. So I, um, one of the nurses, uh, I always bring her like stuff. I don't bring everybody's stuff. Um, so Barb asked me to bring in pie, and I was like, well, sure. I, she, so then, of course, I asked her what kind, and I forget what I was going to make originally. Not an apple or anything like that, but, you know, she's like, apple, banana, and I'm like, banana? Like, I'm not a big fan. Like, I'll eat a banana every day for the potassium, but, you know, I'm not a big fan of, like, banana pudding or anything like that, so. All right, so. There's the green look so far. Um, I don't know if you can... Let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see. Because when I get close, the... There you go. So it's like, um... The eye is a little bit better. <laughs> Whatever. So I'm just going to go in with the liner now. And, and then I'm going to probably top... Oh, no, I'm not going to top the black liner because you don't really need to. Let me just see to like figure out which brush I used with the green. So all my brushes got a bath last night. It was lovely. So I made um, banana split pie. That was the moral to my story. Hopefully you stayed to see it. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. So I made vanilla pudding base. I made my own pie crust. Mind you, I remembered at 830 last night that I was supposed to make pie because the girls are sick and I completely forgot. So this morning I'm going to make the chocolate drizzle and I'm going to add on the banana chips and um, I'll do the banana widgets at the last time because bananas tend to brown and I don't want that so there's my liner and I noticed the other day when I was thinking back about like my YouTube and stuff like that I started to use liner a little bit more and I kind of like it I like the look that it gives me Alright, I know this is taking a long time, so I'm going to do this eye, put my mascara, curl my lashes, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back with mascara. I did my eye brows as well. I'm using the new NYX, um, it's not new, it's new for me, <laughs> the NYX eyebrow. Um, it's like a trio set in Auburn Red. I'm liking it. Um, anyway, so I just went in and I did um, change it up just slightly. I put a little bit of green on the bottom just to kind of try and smoke it out. Um, so that's that. I chose, I'm going to use this hard candy in Hula Hula. It's a sparkly, sparkly bronze, oops, there we go, sparkly bronze color. Um, and I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. All my brushes got a bath last night. so. 
in my video before, I don't know if I posted or not, but I had mentioned that I have these two crown brushes that are bronzer brushes. They're right here. And enter. <laughs> I put conditioner on them. They are much softer. So I did conditioner and then I, um, and then I wash them. So I'm going to top that a little bit with this e.l.f. blush in Candid Coral. It's just a peachy gold, and I'm just going to put that on the apples on my cheeks. So, for like a little bit of a glow. So I've got the Hula Hula? Hula Hula. Sounds like Huma Huma from, uh, <laughs> we watch the Octonauts all the time. And they have the, an episode with Huma Huma as their fish. Alright, so <laughs> there's my look. I'm going to go with a nude lip today just so that my eye makeup is the focus. And I swear I took it out. I did. I'm going in with this Essence one. I just got it in Creamy Nude. It's number 50. I got mine at Ulta. I think that's the only place you can really get it. Um, and that's that. So I really hope you liked this tutorial. Um, you can wear it for St. Patrick's Day. You can wear it for every day. Um, green is the new Pantone for this color of the year. So I imagine that lots of different shades of green are going to come out. I know Sephora has a line, um, a Pantone like palette that they come out with. I think last year it was coral. So this year it is green. And I'm excited because I look awesome in green. So I'm, I watched, uh, who did I watch last night? I forget who it was on YouTube I watched, and they had nail polish colors, like how you can incorporate the Pantone um, colors for the year. So I think I'm going to do a tutorial on that, or like a video, like just one series on it. Um, she did, uh, like how to wear it with whatever. So I'll, I'll talk about that in another video all by itself, because I, it's something that I'm interested in. So I hope you have a great day. Today's pie day, and maybe I'll let you know what kind of pies they had <laughs> or how mine went over. So banana split pie, thumbs up. Hope you subscribe.